everybody, it's the Boss Lady here, coming to you today with a rather large haul video. So, grab you some tea and crumpets, <laughs> cookies and milk, you know, a little soda or something, and let's sit back and enjoy the ride. So, I have a variety of stores today, and I was going to piece it out, piece it out, piece it out, but I am trying to, one, put things away, two, um organize some things and then uh, also get ready for back to school and vacation and all those things. So I thought, you know what? I done bought all this stuff. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this haul done. So um, I have a variety of stores. I have Hobby Lobby, uh, which I left one item downstairs. So I'm going to have to go and grab that. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> And I grabbed a water because um, even though it's not super hot outside, it's warm upstairs. So, I don't have the fan on because I don't want you guys to hear all that swooshing sound. But if it gets too bad, yeah, I will be turning it on. <laughs> mm. But anyway, so let's get back to this. Um, and let me catch my breath because I was running up and down the stairs. So, I have Hobby Lobby to show you. Very, 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 very small haul. <laughs> okay, just so you know. Dollar Tree, Route 21, uh, Ross. Yes, y'all, Ross. Walmart, um, a shoe sale that I went to, Miss Pina and I went to called, um, it was like a warehouse shoe sale. They only did it for a week or whatever at this mall. So we went there. And then what else did we get? Let me see. And I got bags. So, oh, and Target. So, I think those are all the stores I'm going to show you. I will start with Dollar Tree first. Uh, and then we'll just, as I grab, you guys will see. So, like I said, all the bags are all over the floor. So, I will have to bend down, reach. You hear some rustle of plastic. I'm so sorry, but... um. This was an impromptu <laughs> type of haul. So, and these things have been bought over time. So, um, roughly over the last, I would say, two and a half weeks maybe, um, from the time that I stopped working to working to the weekends, yes. So, let's get into this. Uh, first up, I will start with Dollar Tree. And... A lot of this is snacks, but I do have some other things from Dollar Tree as well. But I did pick up some, and I have one box that I didn't bring up because it is uh, open and about to be empty. But picked up some fruit snacks for Miss Peanut, the Welch's. I got the mixed berry and then the other one that's in the purple box. Purple box is almost empty, so I didn't bring it upstairs. So I have this one, and I also picked up a box of Mott's um, for her for snacks. I picked up two bags of these, of the Cheerios. This is also a snack. Uh, my daughter is not really a cereal eater, but she will eat dry cereal. So, uh, you know, during the pandemic last year when we were out, everybody was hauling this and hauling that and stockpiling. And, you know, I stockpiled a gang of cereal. <sighs> I'm checking expiration dates. How about that? Because we got cereal that has not been eaten, okay? But anyway, um, pick this up because I know she likes the Honey Nut Cheerios as a snack. Uh, I actually picked up one bag for me, one bag for her, but I'm letting her keep both bags because uh, it lowers cholesterol. Not that I have cholesterol issues, but you never know. So I got that. Then you guys know I am a big fan of the Trolley Sour uh, Bright Crawlers in the Very Berry flavor. I got two bags of these uh, for the last month, two months maybe. Um, the Dollar Trees that are closer to me that I frequent, they no longer sell these. So we happen to be about 25 minutes away, if not further, and I finally found some, so I grabbed them. But since they weren't selling those, I have now fallen in love with the Trolley Sour Bright Mystery Night Crawlers. So I have two bags of those. These are really good. I like these. Um, it's a variety of flavor. Uh, but they're still good, so I have two bags of those. These I'm actually kind of putting to the side for vacation. Because, uh, you know, we got to have our snacks and stuff for vacation. So I've started to um, slowly but surely 
pick up things here and there uh, to prepare for vacation. Um, you know my family does a road trip every year. And to cut costs, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be hitting up some Dollar Tree snacks, okay? So, that'd be that. Then, moving on to this other Dollar Tree bag. I had went to one I've already given out, but I went to Dollar Tree to pick up some like congratulation cards for getting married. This one actually is for my niece um, who got married just, what, two weeks ago now? A week ago? Two weeks? On the 17th. Anyway, so I picked this up for her, and I think I need to get one more card because, um, y'all, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. I'm telling you it's hot. Um, I have one more person that I need to get a card for, but I already have their gifts. If you recall that short vlog I did, a couple weeks ago in reference to Bath and, what, not Bath and Body, Bed Bath and Beyond when I got those uh, crock pots for like $3.24. Yes, those are uh, wedding gifts. So, and I bought four. Um, I I gave one to my previous boss, but she paid me, so it wasn't like I gave it to her, she paid me for it. Uh, but the other three that I bought, um, those are all wedding gifts. So, yes. <clears throat> well, no, two are wedding gifts, and then one is for my parents. Because I don't really need one. I mean, I did, but I don't. Then, um, you know how, ladies, you go to, you're out and about, and things happen. Uh, so, there was an incident, and I had to stop by Dollar Tree, and I had to pick up a pack of these. Now, I've never used these before, and as you can see, only one have been used, but these are, like, in a, pin a pinch. And I also had to grab some of these. Uh, because, you know, you got to be, got to be clean. So these are like a backup in a pinch, throw in the backpack for, you know, your backup or throw in the locker for backup or whatever, or desk drawer. Yeah, so I got those items. Um, and like I said, that was just truly, truly in a pinch. Uh, I was at Dollar Tree, and this is prior to my husband picking up uh, some for me, but they had some wig caps in the black, and I like the wig caps in black and not the bone or, you know, natural color, whatever. I don't like the brown ones. How about that? Anyway, so I had picked up just a pack of these, and um, after I picked these up, I kid you not, it was like a couple days later, my husband came home with four packs of wig caps, and they were the extra large caps. So, like, these ones are kind of more standard, so... Sometimes you put them on and they'll roll back, but the ones he got me, they actually, like, cover the full head. I'm amazing. So, anyway, I got more than enough wig caps right now. Ugh, sorry, my head's itching. <laughs> I just kind of threw my little thing on. Anyway, I picked up some. These are called Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balm Moisturizing Cherry and Shea Butter Lip Balm. I saw these at Dollar Tree. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to get it where the light's not shining against it. But I got these at Dollar Tree, and I had been looking for these. I forgot I left them in the bag. But um, picked these up because, you know, I like to have something for my lips. And uh, we might be going back into masks. I don't know. But, you know, I had stopped wearing, like, my lip gloss, stuff like that. Because, you know, you put a mask on, it wipes right off. Well, at least this, I can keep this in my purse and... You know, so when your lips get dry, like right now, they're not really dry. I mean, they're moisturized, but you know what I mean. So I picked these up for myself. Then, in preparation for vacation, that's the last thing here. I saw this at Dollar Tree. Never tried it before. It's called Brush Buddies Herbal Toothpaste Infused with Activated Charcoal. So I've been wanting to try a charcoal toothpaste. Here's a better version of it. So I've been wanting to try a, a charcoal toothpaste. So I said, you know, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to take it on vacation see. Maybe we should try it before vacation. But I'm also going to bring um, regular toothpaste just in case because I have some. But anyway, then I also picked up toothbrushes for everyone. So here are the toothbrushes I picked up. So I got a pink, a blue, and a red. So this will be Miss Peanuts. Blue will be husband. Red will be mine. And these are all in the medium. Um, they only had medium and firm. Is that right? Or medium and hard or something like that. These also come with the covers. This is nice. So what I can do is, you know, everybody have their own cover for their toothbrushes while we're on vacation. And I will be, you know, 
I, I believe right now hotels, when you go to a hotel, well, some people that I've talked to and my own experience, you go to a hotel, they, they try not to have the workers come in your space until you're actually gone and done. And so I will be requesting that again at this place just because I don't need nobody coming in and out of my room possibly spreading COVID. So therefore, um, you guys know I already have my own little, um, you know, cleaning kit. So yeah. <clears throat> so let me just kind of put this stuff back over here. Alrighty. So I'll be cleaning my own room, uh, when I get there as well as during the duration. And then when we leave, you know, and I'll request the towels, all that stuff. I mean, when we went on vacation, Miss Pina and I, back in June, it was slick. I mean, nobody came in our room. I cleaned the room down completely, sprayed it down. You know, we requested our towels in the morning. We put our, our used towels out as we left. So, you know, and our garbage outside the door, it was it was great. So, yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um, I don't know what husband did with his shoes. But, well, we'll do that part. That's, that's Ross. So, it's only one item. Okay, let's move on to Hobby Lobby. I know you guys like Hobby Lobby. Uh, I got a new planner. It was $14.99. And I like the fact that it has the scripture on it. And I think I talked about it in my vlog. But it says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. First Chronicles 16.34. Um, this is July of 2021 through December 2022, I think. Right? Let me double check. Yes. Yes. But I love it. I haven't written in it just... Well, I haven't put my name in it. I did start writing in the... <laughs> barely. I started writing on the month of July. But July is over now. So, happy August, everybody. Happy August. And I think what I'm going to do, unless I'm going to make serious notes, I'm going to rip the pages out. Because... Don't nobody got time for that. The one thing I love about this, though, every month has a scripture. And I'm sorry, but I need to walk with God everywhere. So even in my planning days, you know, I do have a planner that is for my business, that I use for my business only. But for my everyday life and, you know, momhood, wifehood, everything, work, all that, I need to have a planner. And I like this one. It's bright colored. Um... Depending on my purse, I can't carry it in my purse, but it is heavy. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to carry it back and forth. We shall see. I don't know. But that was from Hobby Lobby. The other thing I got, <clears throat> or I should say four things, is these um, napkin ring holders. And hopefully you can see that. They say thankful. And this is what it looks like on the back. I got these. They were regular price, $2.99. I got them 40% off, so they rung down to, excuse me, $1.79 a piece. So it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Um, and that's all I got fall related. So you guys know I already went to Dollar Tree, got my little pumpkins and stuff. I think there's at least maybe two or three other pumpkins I want to grab, but I may not. I have enough. But I wanted to get those thankful... Um, napkin ring holders because I just wanted to switch up a little bit. Not doing too, too much with the switch up, but just, you know how you already have a lot of stuff, but you see things and whatever. I just want to tweak a little bit, you know, just switch up a little bit. I'm not trying to do too much, okay? Because I just, I got a whole life to live. So, let's move on to Walmart. <laughs> so, at Walmart, husband and I, this was, I want to say, we must have got this after we had bought the grill, Maybe mm, a couple weeks after we bought the grill, but I got a grill scrubber. And I got this kind. I'm trying to see if I can take this off. So this is what it says. Grill scrubber. And it looks like that, you know, with the little Brillo pad. Um, I got this instead of the one with those um, metal, uh, that metal brush. Because oftentimes those ones especially the ones from dollar tree if you you know brushing your grates and stuff that stuff um tends to um the bristles come out and then if you don't rinse your grates the proper way you can get that in your food so i was like yeah i don't want to do that so i got this one instead then also prepare for back to school 
I picked up a new uh, clock for Miss Peanut, and she can charge her phone. It has two USB charge ports. It's a digital alarm clock by Sharp. It was regular price, $16.88, and I got it for $4.22. So that's the uh, clearance price. So this particular Walmart we went to, it had a huge clearance section, had all kinds of um, alarm clocks. But I said, you know, I don't really want to spend too much. And I had bought her one a while ago, but that one was kind of like, eh. So this one should be better. All right, that's Walmart. Then, y'all, did you know that Walmart now sells polo, U.S. polo? Yes. So we were there. I don't remember what we were getting, but husband happened to pick up him a polo T-shirt. Or not T-shirt, long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve polo, and it says U.S. polo on the sleeve. And then he found one for me in red. So, which is nice. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and it says the US, USPA on there, on there. So, yes. So, these are our shirts um, in the men's section. Now, the women's section, I didn't see any polo. Uh, I happened to be at Walmart yesterday. And the Walmart I was at yesterday, they had um, polo jogging pants. And I believe sweatshirts. So I might go and grab me a pair of like jogging pants. I don't know. I might wear mine just with some leggings. But we shall see. But we got those. And these were um, $10.44. Now you know, I mean, if, you, if you're if you a label person, you know polo can be expensive. Or at least it was back in the day. But, you know, our regular stores like Walmart, Target, they're starting to sell more and more name brand items. Like Walmart sells Levi's. They sell Levi's. They sell Lee's jeans. Um, now, I know Lee's is dating, but, you know, a lot of people still love Levi's. So, anyway. So, that was Walmart. Um, I don't see. Mm. Well, I'll show you Rue 21. This is for Miss Peanut. So, Miss Peanut is into graphic tees. You know, I think all the teenagers are in graphic tees. So, it is what it is. Um, I wanted to go there for the Space Jam clothes. Whatever. So, anyway, this one, it says 88 brand is what the brand is. And it just has a peace sign on it. And it's blue. That's it. That's it. That's all. <laughs> uh, it was regular price, $16.99. I don't recall if I got any deals on any of the shirts, to be honest with you. Um... One shirt I did get on sale, looks like. Okay. So the next shirt. Now, my daughter loves horror movies. So she likes Halloween. She likes Nightmare Before Elm Street. She likes um, the the Friday 13th movies. So she does have a Halloween t-shirt. Her dad got her. And now she has her Friday 13th. I mean, not Friday. Nightmare Before Elm Street, y'all. You know what I mean. Freddy Krueger. Anyway, so she got that one. This one was $19.99. And then they had this sale where if you got one graphic tee, you got another one 50% off. And so I thought she was going to get the Space Jam shirt, but she ended up just getting Looney Tunes. Because she likes the Looney Tunes characters. And this one I got for $9.99. So it is what it is. Trying to get ready for school. You know, she loves graphic tees. Whatever. Whatever makes her happy. Close your boat. Okay. So that's that. Moving on to Target. I will not spend a lot of time on Target because Target is just, it's Target. Um, but these items actually came from Dollar Tree, but I stuck them in this bag. So my daughter loves um, mechanical pencils. So I picked these up for her. Two different uh, styles. So one is paper made. The other one is the INC soft grips. So she got some uh, mechanical pencils. And moving on to Target, I also picked up these mechanical pencils. These were actually on sale for like, I don't know, $4 and something. Uh, so, and she's got all the different rainbow colors, which is nice. Uh, she goes through pencils like crazy, so I wanted to make sure she had a lot of pencils. Then the other items I got, she got one, two, three. She got four of the, okay. She got four of the wide-ruled spiral notebooks and four of the college-ruled spiral notebooks. 
we didn't know which one she would need. I figured, hey, you, you know, you can use them both. So, and she's got the different variations of colors. So she's got red, green, black, yellow. I think she's got a blue in here and then red, black. And another blue. And then um, we also picked up just a five pack of two pocket folders, portfolio folders. These were already in a pack. I don't recall how much these were, but, you know, I figure she's got some folders in, in a bucket. So we just got one pack of folders. And then for me, um, I've seen this movie once, seen clips since then. I picked up War Room. And I picked this up for a particular reason. And I talked about it, well, dealing with the whole mental health thing. Um, and I know it's, I shouldn't say thing, but, you know, dealing with the situation I dealt with recently. Uh, I wanted to just kind of hone in on this movie again. I've been doing some meditations and things. And, you know, I just kind of like some of the concepts that was in here. And so as opposed to looking for all the different clips on YouTube, I just said, let me just buy my own and I can pause it, you know, write it down, meditate on a few things and, you know, go from there. So that was it. This was five bucks. I was not passing that up. Okay. Now let's move on to, I'll move on to Ross because it's only one item. So husband and I and Miss Peanut, we went on a road trip. We went to, what did he say? Cedar Falls. Iowa, I thought it was Cedar Rapids, but Cedar Falls, Iowa. It's about three, three hours, 15 minutes away from home. And um, we were there for another reason, but you know, boss lady saw Ross. I was like, um, please, I need to, please. So we went there and I really didn't walk around, walk around. I don't know, something was going on with their um, HVAC system. So it was hot. But anyway, um, husband found him a pair of red all red Reeboks. I was like, dang, cute. Uh, <laughs> but he bought me a dress. And it looks like this. So it's really pretty. It's black, white, and burgundy. Um, nice little swing dress, you know. So something I can wear for work. Uh, when I decide to go back into someone's church building, I can wear it for church. So that's what I got. Those are the two items we got out of Ross. We weren't really going to shop. So, when I go to shop, you guys know I'll have a bigger, larger haul, right? Okay. Now, last thing is shoes. This warehouse that we went to, they had shoes anywhere from 40 to 80% off. So, they sold shoes like how, like, um, not Walmart, but like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, what have shoes, designer shoes, things of that nature, okay? We're going to start with Miss Peanut because... I let Miss Peanut choose her own shoes. And I was like shocked. Okay. When my baby came to me, she was like, Mom, these are the shoes I want. I was like, I, okay. Girlfriend shop. Do you hear me? She she's got an eye. Maybe not. But she I don't know. She's got an eye, y'all. I mean, whoo. She's got that taste that mama can't keep up with. <laughs> but that's okay. So the boxes are beat up, you know, whatever. But the shoes are still nice. So because she's a teenager, you know, teenagers are into the labels, you know. Um, she found these cute high tops. And guess who they are by? Converse. Look at that chunkiness of the sole. Now, you know, most Converse are like that flat and whatever. I mean, this is a nice rubber situation going on here. I mean, really cute. And they're Snow White. I'm like, oh my gosh, all stars. So she got those, and I'm not going to give you prices. I'm just going to give you my total at the end because, baby, hmm, keep watching. So that was her first pair of shoes. Then her second pair of shoes, let's see here. And, you know, and I was like, get something for school, get something for now, get something for later. She picked up these cute, um, these are... I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to read what this uh, label says. I can't tell. Because it's embedded in the sole. And I believe the box is not... Um, yeah, the box that these are in are not the name of the shoe. Anyway, 
I'll just tell you, the compare to price is $98. They priced them at $46.50. So she got these cute little boots. Little, they're almost like a combat boot. It's got that Sherpa in there. Really cute. Oh, my goodness. You know, and then I think you can fold this over if you want. And it's black on the inside. It zips. So she doesn't necessarily have to tie it. So that's cute. Nice boot, okay? So this is, um, and this is not a winter boot by no means. I mean, there's a little bit of fur. I mean, she might be able to get away with these. I would say like maybe in the fall, early winter. But when we have the 30, 30 below, she can't wear these. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. She cannot wear these. But these are really cute. I like it's a combat boot. So that's those. And like I said, the box that they're in is not the uh, name of the boot. Then the last shoes, y'all. O M G. Can you tell who that is? Can you tell? And I'm touching the bottom of them. They've been outside. These are coach. You see that? These are coach slides. Now, I was on Instagram and Instagram had these. I looked at the coach outlet or coach whatever website. They're selling these for $85. I didn't pay $85. Okay. So, yes, my baby got her first pair of Coach sandals. I was like, oh, okay. Even came with a little Coach um, booklet and everything. So, that's her shoes. Let me show you mine. And then I'm going to tell you my total. Whoops. So, me, I wasn't really looking for dress shoes. I was looking for something. You know, I'm trying to get ready for fall. My thing is, you know, I got... I hate to say a bad feet, but <laughs> it's the truth. So I, I'm trying to find comfort, but I also want style. Look, oh, wait, 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 wait. Some on them. Hold on now. Some got on them. You know how packaging be. And they're suede, so yeah, hold on. All righty. Look at that booty right there. Isn't that cute? Now, I have a gray dress that would be bomb with these. Oh, my gosh. Very cute. I tried these on after a day of walking, feet, ankles swelling. My foot fit right into these beautiful little booties, okay? And I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if this box. Yeah, see, this box doesn't go with these either because this box says Skechers. But anyway, I don't know the brand, but, oh, Croft and Barrel. Yep. Croft and Barrel. I don't know if you'll be able to see that inside of there. But pause it and you'll be able to see Croft and Barrel. Yes. So I got those really cute booties. Then I said, well, you know, I need something standard. <laughs> I got these booties. Really cute. Now, these ones are more plain. Um, these are by Dr. Scholl's. Uh, let me see if I can pull out the label. If you're able to see that in there. So these are by Dr. Scholl's. And I said, you know, Dr. Scholl's from back in the day, from what I remember, is a good brand, especially for people with, you know, issues with the foot. So what I like is they have this little stretchiness right here around the ankle. Really cute. And they're flat. So I don't have to worry about, you know, breaking a, a back or something. And a nice, good rubber sole. Okay. So I got those. And then, you know, I'm a sneakerhead, right? I'm a sneakerhead. I have been wanting these type of shoes for a minute. These are Under Armour. Um, I have bought Miss Pina at least two pairs of Under Armour. And I don't know, once again, label thing, whatever. Um, but like when she was at her other school, that's what you saw the kids in. You didn't see them in Jordans and, and whatever that the kids, you know, uh, what's that? Uh, Air Force Ones. You saw them in a shoe that didn't look like much. But you knew it cost a whole lot. So, I showed you six pairs of shoes. Shoes, booties, whatever. My total came up to $195. And with tax, I paid $208 for all six pair. Now, I told you one pair alone was, you know, registering at, compared to price, $98. That, my dears, was a deal. One pair of shoes was $100, you might as well say. But I got six pair for a total of $208. A big win for Boss Lady. So, yes, that is my haul, guys. I knew you guys would love this um, to see all these different things. And I don't know, this, this warehouse store, I guess it's like a traveling store. So, 
how I saw it. I saw it on social media. And um, what I ended up doing... Oh, here's the other thing. Because a lot of these shoes were... Um, like, these ones here, my, my Under Armors, they were priced at... So, I, I will tell you prices. So, these were priced at $51, okay? These are priced at $51. Um, my Black Boots, these are par priced at $46.50. My Gray Boots... Um, Let's see. The gray boots were 30, 26. So you figure 30, 30 plus 50, that's 80 plus, you know, whatever. And then another 46, I mean, that's like 120, 100, I mean, 126 dollars. I mean, just, you know, just keep the, well, up with the totals. Then with Miss Peanuts, her black boots were 46.50. Okay. Her, her tennis shoes were $51, and then her coach shoes were, I don't know if the label rubbed off. Oh, I think, oh, the label came off, but I want to say those were $46.50. Well, because I signed up early for the early sale, because we went before the sale went live, so we did the pre-sale, which was on a Thursday, and because I signed up that way, I got a coupon buy two get one free so like for miss peanut her coach sandals were free and then my my um which ones were they my gray boots were free so that was not bad y'all i mean really when you look at all the prices of the shoes and then i got i was buy buy two get one free so that's how I, I lucked up with that. So I just, like I said, I saw it on social media. I signed up for the early sale, got the coupon for the buy one, buy two, get one free. And that's how we came out with that. Um, so I am ready, <laughs> ready, ready, ready for the fall. Uh, Miss Peanut's ready for school. I still have to get, um, I plan to get Miss Peanut at least maybe two or three more shirts. And then, you know, because pretty soon we'll have to start getting like hoodies and stuff. And then I also want to get her like new jeans, maybe some joggers, and that's it. You know, I'm not I'm not going like above and beyond. I mean, because you know me, you, you know all of us, we shop continuously. I just want to have at least a week's worth of new clothes, you know, for school and then interchange. You know, here's a piece, here's a piece. Every time I see something, boom, there it is. So that'd be that. But thank you all for tuning in. Sorry the haul was so long. Um, didn't want to talk too much, but oh well. You know how it is when you haven't been around doing, you know, certain things. So um, I appreciate you guys rocking with me. And I will see everybody in a new video. Bye, guys.